<laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Ben. Welcome to Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. It's uh, wonderful to be here as ever. I hope you're all well. I've got some uh, new Ibanez acoustics to talk to you about today. This is, well, these are the AAD50 LG range. Obviously, uh, this one has got a cutaway in electrics. This one is just a standard all acoustic guitar. They are really quite impressive, I have to say. Let me run over some of the specs on them and then I'm gonna tell you what it is I like about them. So this is, I think they call it a Grand Dreadnought. So the most notable thing about these guitars is that everything, well I say everything, the body size is 5% bigger. So a Dreadnought's already a big guitar. <laughs> this is an even bigger guitar. The payoff being that you get a bit more volume, you get a bit more low end. And I have to say, this guitar's for 209 pounds is the retail price on this. And it sounds incredible for that money. Um, we've just, yeah, me and Pete have just done the jams on these and it's, yeah, something else. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. I'm going to do some more playing. So it's got a, a spruce top, um, sapelli back and sides, which is sometimes called African mahogany, I think. Um, an akume neck with purple heart fingerboard and bridge. Um, some of the other things that are worth talking about on here, the new headstock shape that Ibanez have developed. Um, I think it might have come from the new range of John Gom guitars that came out recently. But basically what they've done here is they've narrowed the, the headstock so that the, the line of the string across the nut to the tuner is um, straighter and more direct, which helps you know, with um, tuning stability and all that kind of thing. The fewer kind of harsh angles you have on your strings, the better really. Um, so that's one thing. It has, um, you can't really see them in here, but it's got the new kind of Ibanez bridge pins, which are, hold the strings in better somehow, but you can't see that part because it's, <laughs> it's holding the strings in very well. So there we go. So that, and I really like as well, this, the, the double dots of the 12th fret. It's a little touch, but they're next to each other rather than, uh, well, <laughs> they're always next to each other, aren't they? But you know what I mean. They're the other way around to the way they would normally be. And I think that's nice. So let me do some playing. You heard me play with Pete in the intro there. Um, this guitar, I'm going to start with some big strummy chords. This is the completely acoustic model, so there's no pickup to hear on this. So what you're hearing is through this uh, Neumann KM184 in front of me. Here we go. <laughs> Just, um, yeah, it's, it's got a, a, a big dynamic range for a guitar in this price bracket. Um, it's got a lot of low end and it's well set up. I have to say this, it's, you know, it's comfortable to play. The action, I mean, it could go a little lower, but it's probably all right, especially if you want to use a big body guitar like this for drop tunings or something. I might even be tempted to put a set of baritone strings on this and see how it responds because it's got a massive body. And that's a thing I like to do on big body guitars sometimes. Um, but there we go. This is £209, and if you're looking for a guitar to take out and not worry too much if anything happens to it, that still sounds good and plays well, I think you could go a lot, a lot further wrong than this. I'm really impressed with this, I have to say. I'm going to move on to the electric version. So the specs on this one are uh, the same in terms of the wood and the construction. The bracing on this is, is, is what Ivan has called XM bracing, which is their, their own kind of bracing design, which you know, they say it helps with stability and projection and things. And uh, judging on this one, I've got no reason to doubt that. So this is the cutaway version with the Ibanez pickup in it, um, the AEQ-TPT pickup system, which has got a, um, a tuner and bass treble and volume controls. Um, it's also got this cutaway. What's quite nice about the cutaway is this, uh, the shaped, um, where, the, where the cutaway meets the neck is, is also shaped, which is nice. I've not seen that before uh, on this kind of, this kind of model and it makes it really comfortable to get up to the, the very high dusty end of the fretboard where you know it's there so that's good i'm going to play you some stuff i'll do it acoustically first and then we'll hear what the pickup sounds like
so there we go. That's what this one sounds like acoustically. Um, it feels like it might be a little quieter than this one, but I don't know if that's just uh, something psychosomatic because it hasn't. It's missing this bit down in the bottom corner. <laughs> Let's see what the pickup sounds like. Now, the pickup system on here, I've, I've said it's got the bass, treble, volume, the tuner and stuff. What it's also got is uh, on the output, you've got a choice between your standard quarter inch jack, but also a balanced XLR output. So if you want to take this out and gig it, it's super easy. You just chuck an XLR cable in, straight in the desk, jobs are good. And so um, for a gigging guitar that, um, you know, you, again, if you don't want to take your, your Martin or your Gibson out on a on a bar gig, you can take this out, and if it gets a couple of dings in it, you won't mind so much. But anyway, let's see what the pickup sounds like. Uh, let's go. So there we go. I thought I had to get it all the way up the top at some point. So it's, yeah, it's a really nice uh, guitar. It plays, I'd like the other one, it plays really nicely. The bigger body does make a difference to the sound. Um, I mean, of course, the downside is, is if you don't like big body guitars, this is going to be even less up your street. But if you do like a big dreadnought sound and you want to play some big sounding chords, this is great. Uh, they're really loud acoustically as well, which is nice because sometimes on the uh, guitars in this price range, the you don't get the volume that you might expect. So there we go, the new Ibanez AAD50 range. Uh, available now, £209, £249 with the pickup. Um, that's it's a lot of guitar for your money with either of these, in my opinion. Particularly, particularly that one, I have to say, is I'm really, really knocked out by how, how good that sounds. So there we go. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe and uh, come back and see what we're talking about next time. And in the meantime, go and play your guitars and have fun. See you soon.